Shut up and sit down. Hey YouTubers, what is going on? What is happening? What is grilling? Welcome back to another edition of Grilling Thrill. For those of you uh, just tuning in to this channel, we are a grilling channel. My name is Rob. I am your host. I like to give you hints, tips, tricks you could do while you're barbecuing. Just stuff to help your uh, day go a little bit easier. And maybe even help make your food taste better for your guests. So... Sit back, relax, enjoy the video, check out some of my other ones. If you like them, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, you'll get a notification anytime I put out a new new video there. Just join us, have a good time. So, well, today we're going to talk about paninis, or panino is the singular term, but widely accepted as panini in today's society. Uh, what is the difference between... Paninis, grilled cheese, and toasties. Well, quite simply, this is a grilled cheese. This is a toasty. And this is a panini. Today's uh, very simple panini is a, it's a roast beef panini uh, done on ciabatta roll. Very simple to do. Hope you enjoy it. Leave a comment, hit subscribe, and we'll see you after the video. Alright guys, uh, roast beef panini, 101, nice and easy. We got some extra virgin olive oil, garlic basil. What we're going to do is we're just going to dip our brush in there. We're going to coat the outside of the roll. Just like so. Then we're going to take our avocado oil and we're going to coat the inside. It's going to give it a lot of flavor. I need just a little bit more. All right. These are the bottom of the rolls, top of the rolls. We're going to take some of that. Sweet Baby Ray's, I don't know if that's focusing. Sweet Golden Mustard. This is some pretty good stuff right here. Throw a little bit of that in there. Spread that around. Just enough to give it a taste, but not overwhelm everything. And of course, you start with your meats. This is some uh, thin sliced roast beef that I picked up. Normally, I would make my own. Throw a couple maters on there.
Put some cheese on her. Now for mine, I'm going to put some jalapenos on it. Because I like jalapenos. The wife is not going to have any. Close your sandwich up. That way I'll put one right on top there so I know which one's mine. Then we take these out to the grill. Alright guys, so here we are out at the grill. As you can see, I made some stuffed mushrooms also. And I uh, actually baked, you know, put on some bacon. So we're going to put on these sandwiches as well. All right, now those bacon's on there. We're gonna go ahead and put our rolls right over the hot coals. And I don't actually have a panini press. So what I'm gonna use is this cast iron skillet that I've had sitting on the grill. Because the underside looks like a press. I'm gonna set that right on top of it. Close it down. About five minutes, that's gonna be ready. All right, guys, let's check them out. Let's take that weight off them, see what they look like. Wow, not exactly, uh, huh. you know what, fuck it. I think they look good. All right, we'll plate these up, we'll show you a picture, and uh, we'll be done with it.